To set up a multi-chart view inside of TradingView, do this. Go up to this little box up here, click there. We're going to go stack side-by-side -side chart layouts for TradingView. That'll get you a nice side-by-side. -side. If you want a top and bottom layout instead, go back up to that box and you guessed it. Click right here for go stack top and bottom. We're going to go back to side-by-side -side for this example. A couple things to note before we go further in customizing these trading chart layouts. When I have this blue box around this layout, that means it is the active layout. I can click this over on the right side and back to the left. You can see the blue box is changing. That just lets you know which trading layout you are looking at and what's active. Now, you can see that you can customize these different layouts based on things like the cursor. Even the stock right now is showing Apple. If I was to go to a different company, let's go to Airbnb here, everything's going to change if I zoom in and out and scroll. Everything's linked right now. That could be good, but if you want to customize a little bit further, here's how you do it, starting with number one, changing it into different stocks in these charts. Assuming we want to show Apple and Airbnb in this example, we're going up to this top box right here, going down to symbol, and we're going to toggle this off which means that now when we're an active area here, this blue area, we're gonna keep this one Airbnb, go to the left-hand side and go, hey, I wanna make this, I wanna make this Apple. So I can come up here and click and actually type in Apple, or I can just go over here and click on Airbnb for my watch list. And that's gonna populate here as well, changing it back to Apple, seeing that Airbnb and Apple are now different stocks showing on different windows. I'm gonna change this window back to Apple to show you the rest of these customizations. Now, we can go in and we can also work through the crosshairs. That one's pretty self-explanatory. You're gonna see the crosshairs on both right now. If I go in here and click on crosshairs off, that's gonna take the crosshair off and only make it active on one of the layouts versus the other, never both at the same time. Next up, we wanna change the intervals that we can change from a one day chart to a four hour chart or a 40 minute chart, and it's gonna update everything the way it is. But if I wanna change one to let's say a 15 minute chart and one to a one hour chart, right now I have to go in here, go down to the interval, click this off, and then to go in here and say, hey, I want this to be a one hour chart. My interval is gonna be 60 minutes or one hour in this case. And when I click enter, now I can see this chart updates and it's shown in our time blocks. So I look down at the bottom here and I zoom in, I can see that Okay, this chart looks a little bit different now than the chart on the left because this one hour chart is in larger time chunks for these candlesticks versus the 15 minute on this chart over here. And so the next option you have to synchronize is known as the time interval. And what this is gonna do is allow you to go to different parts on the chart in time while having this chart not follow along until you want it to. And there's some special considerations you have to make for this for in order to work properly. So when we go in here to our settings area, we have to make sure that the date range is toggled off. Otherwise, when you scroll in and out, you will just be continually showing the same areas on the bottom. So make sure that is toggled off and then have the time area toggled on. So when you do this now, it's gonna follow along when you go and click. So what I mean by this, I'm gonna go in here and reset the chart view. I'm gonna reset the chart view here as well. Now on my one hour chart, I'm gonna go out in time and scroll out, scroll out, scroll out. And to bring the other chart here along on the left-hand side, you can see that the cursor shows up when I hit certain price levels around that 180 level. But I wanna bring this 15 minute chart along to my one hour chart. To do that, I simply click within this one hour chart where I want it to jump to and watch as it's gonna jump right to it, boom. And that's how you can sync it back up and you can show the chart right there, but you can go back out here in the one hour chart and zoom and go check, check out different parts of this trading journey. And every time you click into this chart, it's going to pull this 15 minute chart along to the same area where it's trading at. And now if you did want to have these intervals at the bottom, always linked up so that they're never going to get out of whack or be too far removed, you could go in and change the date range. And that's going to, when you reset the chart, you're gonna always, no matter where you're scrolling, you're gonna have the same times down here shown in terms of length of time. It's gonna be a little bit different here based on our charts being different time intervals, but those dates are gonna line up and they're gonna be in the same kind of area when you're going through this. So whether you're a 15 minute trader like what's set up on the left-hand side, a one hour trader on the right-hand side, or even a one day trader, you now have the ability to show that data in a specified layout inside of TradingView. Leave a comment on this video. And let me know what your preferred time frame is for your trading. Is it 15 minutes? Is it one hour? I would love to know and hear from you. And lastly, to save all your hard work setting all of this up, you wanna make sure you save the chart template in the current template that you're working in there. Or if you wanna save it and do it in a new one, make sure you go in here and go either save to click and save this the way it is laid out currently. That way, when you go back out and load it, if I go in here somewhere else to kick and flip, and then I wanna load my chart layout, I can go multi-charts, it's gonna pop up with my Apple charts, 
with a 15 minute chart and a one hour chart. If you don't have any chart layouts saved yet, make sure you go here and go to new layout. You can then go ahead and customize that, make it your double chart, make the symbols and thinking that you wanna have on for that settings. And then you save it in there as an unnamed chart, give it a name and you're good to go. Now that you have your stock charting down, you're gonna to need to find some companies to trade. And for that, I give you the ultimate TradingView stock screener. 